But man, did they respond after that Virginia loss. Went on a nine-game winning streak. Ten-point victory over Virginia in the ACC title game. And now John Shire trying to become join Steve Fisher as the only coaches to win a title in their first season. Steve Fisher picked it up right as the tournament started. 1989 when Michigan was making a change because a Michigan man will coach Michigan. And Bill Frieder was on his way. Bracketology presented by Lowe's. So Duke is seeded lower than four for the first time since 2007. They enter the tournament on a nine game winning streak. That's the longest since 2015 when Duke won its last national championship. Pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Blue Devils, John Shire. Uh, John, as you uh, awaited to see where your team would play, what was your reaction when you saw the five seed and you saw the teams uh, that you'll face in the next uh, couple of games? Well, first of all, it's an exciting time no matter what, no matter what seed you are, no matter where you're going. And so for us, you know, we, we felt there was a possibility we could go to Orlando, uh, whatever seed that was go going to be. So for us, we're excited. It's, it's an amazing opportunity. You never take this day for granted. Uh, and we're ready to go, and we're, we're going to pack our bags, and we're excited to be there on Tuesday and get ready for our game on Thursday. You know, John, there's been so much to be impressed with with your team this year and the job you've done. But one of the things that comes to mind is something that may not have come to mind to other people, and that's patience. And throughout the course of the season, as you've built this team and you've gotten everybody healthy and this your first year as a head coach, how important has, has patience been in your, your coaching? You know, it's funny, Jay, the, the ironic part about the whole thing is if you were to ask my, my family, my friends, they probably tell you I'm the most impatient person they know. And so for me this year, uh, it, took, it took a lot just to stick with it and make sure uh, I was doing the best job for our guys, for our players. And they've had an amazing attitude. Anytime they've gotten knocked back, it would be easy to hang their head or to make excuses or, or to point the finger. And they've never done that. So for me, it's been, I've just had an amazing year coaching these guys. I've enjoyed really every day because they, they take the coaching. Uh, you're able to, to grow and to learn. And our, our mantra this year, I mean, we, we've, we've said it's one vision. You've got to stay connected with what the vision is. And we said we want to be playing our best at this time of the year, which uh, we are. John, congratulations. What was the one lesson that you learned? Like you move over, you're following Coach K. Uh, you get off to that rough start. What did you learn about yourself as your team was going through that transition? Yeah, I, th I think you're, you're wondering, uh, you know, when our players are put in that position, how do they respond? But, you know, I've always prided myself on showing up every day, you know, doing my job and knowing our guys or anybody in our, in our program can rely on me to be the best that I need to be. And so... You know, I'm proud of our staff for the attitudes that we've had, the, the togetherness to make sure our players feel that way. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing. And I've learned this from Coach K, but always to take accountability. You know, take responsibility, I should say. You know, you have to be accountable, too, for, you know, I'll tell our guys, all right, I called a play. I didn't like what play I called. That's on me. Uh, you know, we, I didn't coach you as well this game. And I think that, that togetherness and that buy-in both ways, it, it has to be there. John, I, I've been really impressed with uh, Derek Lively, and congratulations as well. Uh, with, you know, he's the number one player, and he was the number one player coming out of high school, and he had to come in with high expectations, thinking he'd be a starter and maybe even getting a lot of touches. And he seems to have really owned his role. What's, what has been the, com what's the conversation been like between the two of you? Derek and I have had some heart-to-hearts through the season, and he is a... Uh, He's as coachable as any freshman or any player that I've ever coached in, in 10 years. I mean, he's, he wants it all. Uh, he, he looks right back, at you, right back at you every time and tells you he's got you. And I love the fact for him, he had to figure out how to be successful in college. It's just a very different game. And I think it's the hardest transition of, of any position, I think, for a big guy to come into college and figure that out is, is a huge adjustment. Uh, he's had his morning routine every single day for about six weeks now with Emile Jefferson. They get in their offensive vitamins, defensive vitamins, and he's been as impactful, really, as any defensive player in the country, in my opinion, mm -hmm. with w his presence on the court, uh, even when he's not blocking shots, just by being out there.
And John, before we let you go, you, you're your own man, you're your own coach, you've got your own personality, you've done an extraordinary job. But I was at practice the other day and I heard you say yo. <laughs> <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> I heard you say yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, I didn't, hey John, I was, I was cold. I didn't, I didn't hear it once all year. What happened? How did you slip like that? It's, well, we're, we've had a little bit of a swagger recently, so I think you know certain stuff comes out, and yo is one of them. So as, as much as I'm my, my own man, I'm sure there's things that uh, I say all the time that my staff looks at me, and I'm, you know, that's what Coach K said. I'm sure that happens more than just yo. I hate you have some alums that, that you know, basically put you in a terrible position. I, I apologize for Jay Billis. Exactly. No, well, I'm sure it brought back some memories of Coach K saying yo to him, or yelling yo. It wasn't memory, it was PTSD. Yeah. For good reason. For good he reason, used, by the he way. He used other words back usually, then. He was a little bit stronger than yeah, you exactly. are, too. There is, uh, you know what, when you win the ACC in your first year, you're now Coach S. Yes. Coach S. Yes. Coach S. <laughs> John, congratulations, man. Thanks Got a lot. a long way to go for that. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. Uh, John Thanks Shire, Duke Bill. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.